new episode of angular logic building so in this episode we are going to focus on element ref and the renderer too okay so previously we had the render but with the latest version we have the renderer too so first example i am going to show you is with directive okay so i have created a simple directive that is highlight here i have implemented two host listener that is first mouse over and mouse out and if you see here in the constructor i have created object of the element ref so what it does so element ref will actually give you access of that particular element wherever you will you apply this particular directive so in server side component if you can see i have applied that directive on the card header okay so now in the host listener once i the event is mouse over once i over that particular div wherever i have added this so means this card header div so here what we will do the element this dot element rep dot native element so this is equals to document dot get element by id whatever we used to do right so this part is nothing but equal to this we are selecting that particular element in this case we do we don't have to provide any id or any class name to select that element because we are adding this particular directive on this element so we will get the reference of this div and what we are doing we are just adding a class bg danger and when we move the out mouse out we are again removing that same class so let's see this in example so this is in that filtering component So as you can see, I have got some particular records. So once I, let's say I'm moving on the Akansha. So you can see red color is getting applied. If I move out, it is getting removed. So wherever I'm going, so you can see that uh, host listener is getting triggered and that particular say, uh, style, uh, particular class is getting added to that particular div. So this is what the use of element ref. By using element ref, we get the in the name itself element ref means we get the reference of the element of that particular dom so this is element ref we normally use element ref with view child also and mostly in the directive when we create a directive and we want to uh, attach something or add a style or a class or uh, read the uh, text of that uh, element or attach some text so we go with element ref next thing is renderer 2 okay so as the angular team has suggested element rep what it does it will directly allow us to communicate with the dom but as the rule or the standard follows we should not directly communicate with the dom so angular team has provided renderer 2 so what renderer 2 allows us it will allows us to manipulate dom more safely so here's the example so in this users users.html on this button click so we are seeing the first change color on this button click i'm calling this function that is change color so here what i have did in the constructor i have created both uh, instance of both the element ref and the renderer too so first using query selector i'm selecting the first button i get so this dot element dot native element query selector so this dot element ref in this element ref we will get the complete template and then from that complete tem uh, uh, template we are selecting first button then you can see this dot renderer it has got some uh, specific new methods like add class create up component what are the methods we used to do when we used to work with the javascript so like that i'm i'm using set style method then so to set style method i have i have some parameters like first is the element we need to pass then style and then the value so this is the element what i have got then which css i need to overwrite that is background color and i'm providing the value so let's check it is in the users page so if i click on the change color button so if i change click on change color you can see first button it has selected and it has added the background color as red so this is the change now on the second button that is change font color so here what i'm doing i'm selecting particular element with id so dpdl site let me show you the dpdl site so dpdl site is the id given to this particular drop down this is the second drop down and here what i am doing i have selected the particular element then i am adding a class so if you can see to the add class we just have two parameter first is the element and second is the name of the class so you can see i have selected the element then this dot render dot add class 
provided the element and then provided the class. So let's check this. On click of this button, this select, you can see the label is in, uh, currently it is gray color, but once I click, you can see it is in red color. So let's debug the code now. Let's just add a debugger everywhere. Yeah, a debugger is already there. Here also, let's add it. Always try to use the debugger whenever you are writing or learning something new. So it will help you. Let's see now. Now, once I click on the first button, so here you can see query selector, I have passed button. So it will get the first button, button, button secondary. See, this is the first button, which is having button secondary class. Then I'm adding the, uh, to the renderer too, I'm passing the button, particular element and the styles. Once I continue, you can see this gets applied. Now the, I'm clicking on this button. It will select this particular select drop down. It is using by ID. So you can see on the button, I have not changed the uh, variable name, but if I hover here, so you can see select DPDL size form control. So it has particularly selected this drop down. Then we are adding a class. Okay, so let's see what class it has currently. So here you can see it has particular, these four classes are there. Form control, ng touch, ng trial, and ng value. Now I'm adding one more class. So again, if I see here, class list. So you can see five classes are there now. Text danger is also added. So that's why we get the font color as red. So these are these are this is the example of element ref and the renderer. Now let's say the directive. Let's go to this filtering page. Let me just continue this. So whenever I'm you just have to see now quickly because every time I will get the debugger. So see mouse out is debugger is also there. Now if I hover on this, so you key first mouse over event is there. Okay, now if I continue, then mouse leave event is also there. So simultaneously it will go. So let me just debug. So you can see this is out. First this event get triggered. Once I mouse over, then once I uh, go away from that particular due, the second mouse out element, mouse out function will be get triggered and we are removing the particular class from that due. So this is the practical example of element ref and the renderer too. Again, you might see when you work with the prime ng ag grid, you might see this uh, element ref and the render too in that scenario where you have to provide the custom template and you need to write the custom events on that. So in that scenarios, you are going to use element ref and the renderer too. Hope you have liked the video. I will be coming up. I will be coming with uh, more topics related to uh, advanced and the logic building part. Okay. Till then, thank you. Please do like and subscribe.